Craziness in the kennel proved to be just that today inside the McCarthy Athletic Center. Good evening, I'm Steffi Roche. Thanks so much for joining us here on Nonstop Local tonight. After a crash smashes and destroys a window. This all happening in the Snake River Canyon. It's kind of like Punxsutawney Phil, but a seal. I, <laughs> I've probably frigid there every winter. It's but, predicting uh... it. What do you mean? <laughs> Saturday Night Live is next. Both the Washington State Patrol and Idaho State Police are stepping up patrols. Celebrating the time of year many people enjoy here in the Inland Northwest, like myself, fall. The fall festival taking place. I have to ask you, what is your favorite sandwich? I love the classic clump that we brought up earlier. Ooh, turkey. But my favorite sandwich is a true, authentic New York pastrami on rye bread. No kidding. The best sandwich okay. on the face of the earth. Okay. That Not sounds... to be biased, but... It's Getting hungry now. This is going to yeah. be a problem. We still yeah. have more show to get through. A few here. more hours Let's... until lunch, but we'll get there. Nonstop local at 11. It's a sight weeks in the making. Rain and lots of rain falling across the inland northwest. Check out the storm as it brought rain and grapple to Colbert. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Steffi Roche and I'm here in the Weather Center with weather forecaster Justin Spinney. And Justin, we've been seeing lots of rain today in the past few days. And this rain is sure to help drought conditions that we've been experiencing since this summer, really. No doubt. Okay, Justin, thank you. As he just mentioned, there is snow on some of our mountain passes. This is how it looks right now on Sherman Pass. You can see the snow has fallen, but roads for the most part are wet. The Washington State Department of Transportation says the snow is a reminder of the conditions you'll face on the mountain passes this winter. WashDOT leaders urge you to have an emergency kit in your car. That should include batteries, a blanket, bottles of water, and non-perishable foods. They also suggest suggest you check all of your car's fluids. Make sure your tires and brakes are ready and have a cell phone charger. Plus, they urge you to drive slow in the slick conditions. A scary morning for one Adams County deputy losing control on the wet roads and crashing. You can see the aftermath here. It happened along Taylor and Bench Roads early this morning. They say the deputy was speeding as they responded to a call of a burglary in progress. So far, no reports of any injuries. WSP is investigating. As for that burglary call, deputies say it happened at a home along West Cunningham Road. It was just after 6.30 a.m. They got a call about a man lying on the couch inside the home. Deputies say the homeowner held the suspect at gunpoint until police arrived. They say the person was drunk and thought he walked into a friend's home. The man was given a written warning never to return to that house. A Pondere County man will spend the next four years in prison for hunting and killing bald and golden eagles and hawks. It happened at the Flathead Indian Reservation in western Montana. Travis Branson was sentenced on Thursday. He pleaded guilty in March, and the U.S. Attorney's Office says Branson was selling the animals on the black market. He was also ordered to pay $777,000 in restitution. The body of a woman who grew up in Bonner County, Idaho, is found in the Clark Fork River in Montana. Eva Prather walked away from her Missoula home barefoot in the middle of the night last year. Missing posters dotted public spaces as the community searched for her. The body was actually found back on October 13th, but didn't announce it until Friday after testing. Funeral services are now set for Happy Watkins. Reverend Watkins served as a local voice for the civil rights movement in Spokane after relocating to the city in 1961. His funeral is set for November 15th at 1 p.m. at Life Center Church in Spokane. He served as the pastor emeritus at New Hope Baptist Church following his retirement in 2018. Watkins died last month at the age of 82. Spokane Mayor Lisa Brown spending her weekend focusing on the city's 2025 through 2026 budget. It calls for a 1% property tax increase to help overcome the projected $25 million budget deficit she inherited. Brown says it focuses on balancing out the budget while addressing housing and public safety concerns. The new budget calls for a new permitting and license system to streamline the process. It would increase the funding for the homeless during periods of extreme weather from $250,000 to $1 million. 
According to Mayor Brown, if a proposed community safety sales tax passes this November, this is where the money would go. You can see it gives more than $4 million to police to revive the neighborhood resource officer program and more than $4 million to the fire department to complete station repairs and buy new fire trucks. The city council still needs to approve the budget. Nonstop Local is your election headquarters, and people throughout Spokane County are making sure their vote is counted. We caught up with several people outside the Spokane County Elections Office this afternoon, dropping off their ballots. And starting Monday, you are urged to use the ballot boxes. You can visit the Eastern Washington University Catalyst Building or the Center Place Regional Event Center in Spokane Valley. So far in Washington, more than 2.3 million ballots have been returned. That's roughly 47% of all voters. In Spokane County, that number stands at nearly 51%. In Adams County, 37% of people return their ballots. And in Grant County, that number stands at 38%. Well, November is Native American Heritage Month, and what better way to celebrate than with a chance to get some Native American merchandise. Now, the Native Arts Market was held at River Park Square today. The Native Arts Market, or excuse me, people got their chance to check out uh, different various things going on there at that Native Arts Market. Again, it was held at River Park Square. There was homemade art and even a chance to experience the Native American culture. This year it included tribes from all across Washington, Idaho, and Montana. Two of our area college football teams have a bye, but not all of them. Thanks so much, AJ. Well, we're just getting started here on Nonstop Local at 11. But coming up, we get a weather prediction from an unlikely source. What Stryker the Seal has to say about this upcoming winter.